I am about to get myself cancelled before I even get to take off. Kevin Pankin, he's a name you know and love, and he's one of the rising stars in the world of anime, having written soundtracks to shows like Made in Abyss, Tower of God, The Rising of the Shield Hero, and most recently, Netflix's Eden. His music's been described as emotionally moving, with sweeping arrangements that blend conventional and unconventional sounds that can move you deep to your soul. He was nominated for a BAFTA for his work on Florence, and he's garnered the near-unanimous praise of pretty much every anime fan in the community. Unity, and... I don't really get it. Now, before you hit that dislike button, I want to make it really clear that I do think his music is amazing and I really like his composition style. But honestly, if you asked me to remember any of his music from memory, I think I would fail pretty much every time. Now, this all started because back at the beginning of 2018, I was about to watch Made in Abyss and Land of the Lustrous, and both shows had really great reviews, but Made in Abyss in particular had a whole bunch that just praised the hell out of the soundtrack. And obviously for me, someone who listens to the soundtracks really closely and gets attached to them almost more than I do the shows, this made me really excited to see what the show was all about, especially since the reviews for the show itself were looking pretty good as well. And well, when I started watching the show, I didn't even notice most of the music that was playing. Now that's not necessarily a bad thing since one of the biggest praises you can give to film music is that it was so good you didn't notice it in any of the scenes. But I'm kind of an outlier in that aspect because whether I'm watching a live action movie or just an anime series, I always pay really close attention to the music. And it didn't just happen for Made in Abyss because if I try to remember any of the music from Shield Hero, I completely draw a blank. I've only seen both of those shows once, but I can think of a handful of other shows that I've only seen once where the soundtracks really struck me deep to my core. I guess the main question that I have personally are what are people actually latching onto with his music and why are they singing its praises so loudly? I've watched a few videos and interviews about his composition process, and while it's made me appreciate his music and his way of thinking a lot more, it still hasn't made his music stick in my mind any better. And I know I'm mostly talking about orchestral music and pop music on this channel, but I'm also a big fan of electronic as well as the use of unconventional sounds. And I have a few friends who write music in the same vein as Pankin's music that I really enjoy, so I'm not really sure why I'm not finding his music something that clicks with me. Even now, after having listened to Made in Abyss's soundtrack about five times, the only tracks that I remember from the whole soundtrack are vaguely underground river and the gibberish one. And even then, the only reason I think I can vaguely remember those tracks is because there was a singer to latch on to. Anime composers already don't get enough recognition as it is, and it's weird to me that the ones who are getting a lot of attention and praise are the ones that I feel like I don't really have as much of a connection to. And I know I probably sound like an elitist hipster right now, but go ahead and name me any composer other than Kajira Yu Yuki, Sawa no Hiroyuki, Maida Jun, or Kevin Penkin. Go on, I'll wait. It's not that any of those four are writing bad music, especially Maida, who I've done nothing but praise over the course of my channel, but why does no one remember names like Kan no Yugo, or Inai Keiji, or Suehiro Kenichiro, or Kato Tatsuya? All of them have written for shows that are popular within the anime community, possibly outside of the anime community, and even more popular than some of the shows that the popular composers have written for. But unless I were to put up a few of the shows that they've written for, you probably probably wouldn't have even remembered who they were, if you knew them in the first place. Oh, you say you like Toradora and March comes in like a lion's music? I too like Hashimoto Yukari, but I bet you didn't know her name or at least remember it, and you probably didn't even realize that both of those shows had the same composer for them. What about Hyuga Moe, or Kotringo, or Oshima Michiru? Yes, I'm aware that at this point I'm just flexing my mental archive of anime composers, but how many of these people can you confidently and honestly say that you were familiar with outside of something I may have mentioned in one of my past videos? I mean, people like Kosaki Satoru and 
Yokoyama Masaru have written more anime soundtracks and opening and ending songs than probably all the people I listed before combined, and I'd be really shocked if you said that you had never seen a show that either one of them had contributed to in some way. Composers like Kikuchi Shunsuke and Masuda Toshio and Tanaka Kohei and Takanashi Yasuharu are the kings of long-running shonen. And Evan Cole? Remember that guy who brought us all to tears with Violet Evergarden soundtrack? Absolutely unreal. Now this is probably going to get a lot of the same reaction as the Kajira video, where a lot of people saw the thumbnail and the title and immediately clicked dislike because it sounded like I hate her and everything she stands for. But again, I want to reiterate that Kevin Pankin, like Kajira Yuki, is not a composer that I think is bad. I actually think both of them are great composers. I remember liking what I heard from Tower of God soundtrack before I dropped the show, and I knew immediately that it was Kevin Pankin, so clearly his style stuck with me even if his music didn't. And I haven't seen Eden yet, but who knows, maybe that'll enlighten me to the Kevin Pankin fanbase. And look, I'm not claiming to know or be familiar with every anime composer's works, but it just sucks to me that with so many incredible anime composers in the field that it's just getting boiled down to a handful of names. Especially when a lot of Sawano's older work and pretty much all of Kajiura's work are lacking in a lot of variety between soundtracks. I'm not saying that Kevin Pankin doesn't deserve to represent what anime music has to offer, but for from my standpoint, I'm just not understanding it. So since I'm probably the only person on earth who's voiced a little bit of dissent over Kevin Pankin's music, let me know what you guys think of his music down below, and let me know why you enjoy it so much. I made the title of this video what it is because I'm genuinely not sure why people love his music so much, and as much as I really do want to get on the hype train, I feel like I'm just at the wrong station. And to address all the people who are probably gonna see the title of the video and hear me say one thing that isn't blind praise for a composer that I think is great, yes, I am a salty nobody who wants nothing but your attention because my music will never live up to anything that Kevin Pankin will write, and I'm sure that you've done many unspeakable things with my mother. And to everyone else who managed to stick around for this long in the video, thanks as always for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to my channel, and support me over on Patreon and my other social media accounts. Thanks as always for watching, and I will see you in the next one.